Here we come to the crankcase cover here. So the crankcase cover has the governor gear in it. I lay the governor gear towards me because this is going to fold up like that. This is the gasket. This holds the oil. As long as you don't have any tears into any of these holes, like this one here is a little bit messed up, but as long as I don't have any tears into any holes, I am fine with that gasket. Okay? Then we're going to need seven flange bolts. These flange bolts are going to hold this crankcase cover on. We're going to talk about dowel pins again. The dowel pins are the small pins here. The first one, if you got the real big dowel pin, this real big dowel pin, that's for the head. So you got the wrong one there. Then you got two that are the same size or just different lengths. The longer one goes on the outside, the smaller, the shorter one is the one that we use first. This is the 10 millimeter one, talks about it in your plan. We're going to take these 10 millimeter dowel pins. You can see a couple holes, one hole right here and one hole right down here that don't have threads in it. And that's where those two dowel pins go. Okay, got those two in. Now we're going to prepare. We know this is going to be metal on metal. We know this is going to be metal on metal. We know this is going to be metal on metal. The other spot that we have to do a little bit of preparation is we've got to get a little bit of assembly lube on this governor gear as well. So I'm going to get that assembly lube all the way around, both sides. Looking good there, looking good, looking good. This one here, because again, it's a, just a bearing, it's, or it's, it's just a bushing, not a bearing, like these ball bearings are. I want to make sure that I get that one nice and good. Then I'm going to take, I'm going to install my gasket. My gasket has those couple holes in it that hold it in place on those dowel pins. That's what those dowel pins are for. Then I'm going to put up and get this started. We have lots of different things that have to go into place here. So I am going to twist and turn the back side of the crankshaft while my partner is getting this cover in place. Everything has to line up and slide together. And if you put this on too hard without twisting and turning, that black or that plastic governor gear breaks. And all of a sudden it'll kind of just kind of slide in. Now it's in place. Love it. I check to make sure my gasket is good all the way around. It's not sticking out anywhere. And I start by hand all these bolts. One over here. That gasket slipped out a little bit. Just kind of. Touching that back up. Sometimes this is a 12 millimeter bolt. Sometimes I just put the socket on so I can do it by hand. Now we're one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Don't forget this one. That's the biggest one people forget. When we end up with an extra bolt, we have to rip this back apart, drain all the oil back out. So you have to have seven. You and your partner both check, double check, triple check, quadruple check that you see seven bolts that you and your partner are putting on here.
Again, I gotta adjust that gasket just a little bit. And I'm putting in my seven bolts, hand tight first. This is a point I like to grab the screwdriver handle. Just seems to be a little bit faster for me. Three. Four, five, six, and seven. Don't forget that last one. Now, as I'm tightening these up, I'm putting these on, getting them tightened up. I need to do, make sure I have the correct 17 foot pounds, 17 times 12, it's 204 minus 10, so 194. I think is what that is. I'm going to dial my torque wrench in. Go up to 200. So the crooked arrow on this side, bottom is, middle is at zero and that's at 200. Then I'm going to go to 194. So I'm going to take six off that, 246. So that's 194 right there. Again, facing that to the right for the ratchet. And I'm going to start by just lightly tightening. I'm not cranking all the way down. Notice I went across. Now I'm going to go here. I'm going to come across. That keeps this torque even as we're going around this. There's six and there is seven right there. Now I'm going to torque it, and I always like to torque down towards the table. Put the handle down, there was a torque, put the handle down. There was a click going across. Nice and easy going across. Going across. Six. Seven, Ooh. then I go back around one time just to make sure. One, two, three, pull it right out to the edge of the table, four, five, six, 
six and seven. Now I have that outside crankcase cover on. As what I do every single time I do this, I rotate it. And I want to see the piston go up and down four times. It actually needs to only go up and down twice. But four times ensures that that timing is right. I shouldn't get stuck anywhere. At this point, if you can go around up and down four times, you should be good to go.